Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the iPhone app podcast, and today we're going to take a look at FitPhone. FitPhone is an application for uh, those of you that are into fitness and working out and uh, want something to track your um, how well you're doing with your workout. So you get the screen right here from the very beginning. You can hit the plus sign and add a workout. You start your workout name, like I would give this the name, I don't know, maybe I did my shoulders. And then the workout date there, I would choose, uh, you know, today's date or whatnot. And then I'd go down and add some exercises. It comes with a whole bunch of exercises built in here. So if I was doing shoulders or something like that, I might, uh, um, let's see, I think there's a shoulders. Yeah, I might go choose front raises. And you got to click on the plus, which is kind of a pain. Um, but you just click on the plus and it's in there. So you've got your exercise there. Come down here to the bottom and click on exercises. And you also have your, um, your entire list here. And then reports will start to show up once you, uh, once you have a bunch of workouts listed. You can actually go in and see the workouts that you've done um, with those. So you can see different combinations and all that stuff that you've done. So once you've added in, or you got your front raises here, you can go ahead and enter your sets. Um, I can enter in a weight amount that I did, say 60 pounds, and then I did 10 reps, and then you can leave a note or something like that uh, if you wanted to add a note to it and hit done, and then you can hit add to add another set. Maybe this time I upped it to 70. Uh, there's another thing that bugs me. All right, well, so 10 reps and done. A couple of just little buggy things, a couple little buggy things in this app that kind of, you know, get on your nerves, especially if you're at the gym and you're trying to work out and you just want to enter in this information fast and you, you get a couple of sets in and it gets to be kind of a pain in the butt to um, add more sets because, like you saw, it hides down behind the keyboard. So... Uh, we can go back to, let's go back to our workout here. Let's save it. Um, and then go back to our main workout. And you'll see that you, what we'll start to create here is an entire list of all of our workouts uh, by name. And so, because I have it by date there, or I have the date as the name, that's where it shows up. Um, one of the nice things you could do is you can copy this workout. So if you're doing a workout the exact same as... Uh, a previous one that you've recorded, you could just go and copy it and give it a new name. Um, if we wanted to click edit and add a new exercise that is not pre-recorded into the system, I can click add here and give it a category and exercise and if it's time-based, you know, like uh, 10 minutes of cardio or something like that or, or whatever, um, you know, the amount of time that uh, that it would typically take, you can enter that in. Um, and then save it. And then, you know, like, there there are some common, you know, workouts in here, but there isn't everything, obviously. So you can go in and you can add all that stuff that you do specifically into this app, which is nice. I think it's cool that it's customizable and you can add all that stuff in. Um, but like I said, you know, there are a couple little issues and stuff that I thought were a little frustrating. I used this app while working out for about a week and a half and I was getting ready to review it and then my iPhone crashed obviously if you've been reading on the uh, the blog uh, on the website iPhone at podcast.com you get to hear all my rants and complaints about uh, about my iPhone and so I've I haven't had it freeze in, in a week and a half probably a week and a half or two weeks almost now but uh, and it's been doing pretty good but um, I did lose all of my data in this app and it just kind of, I lost my desire to, uh, you know, want to um, to go back and enter in all my information into the app. So I can't show you any really reports because of that, but um, it, it is a good, uh, it is a good app. I, I do like it, um, you know, and it's got room to grow like most of the apps do. Um, but. Uh, if you're looking for something really basic just to record your workouts rather than carrying around a notepad or something like that, 
then this is great. I mean, you're already listening to your iPhone, you know, uh, the music and stuff while you're working out. You might as well just use this to, um, uh, you know, save your workout information too. So I give this app like a four out of five, four stars out of five, uh, with some room to grow. And uh, so you can go and get that app in the iTunes um, App Store, or the App Store, of course, on iPhone at podcast.com there is a link to the app so that you could just go click there and it'll take you straight to iTunes and you can buy the app so I think it's uh, $2.99 if I remember right um, but the price is also on the on the blog also um, just a side note uh, a lot of these apps they've been changing their prices and so the prices aren't always going to be correct on these videos so if the price is incorrect it's probably because the developer uh, changed the price and when the developer changes the price I'm not going to go and record the whole video just for the sake of them changing their price so uh, there could be some prices that are a little off so I apologize for that so anyhow um, the iPhone app podcast is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. GoDaddy.com is a sponsor for the iPhone app podcast right now, and you can get 10% off your order if you enter the coupon code iPhone. If you enter the coupon code iPhone1, you could save $5 off a $30 or more order. And iPhone2 gets you dot coms for $6.95 each. Some restrictions apply. See site for details. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. My name is Jared, and we'll see you next time.